in this video i will take you through the app pixel lab i will show you what you need to know about the app i will show you what you need to know about the tools in fact i will talk about the tools i will talk about um, each and every tool you can see on this pixel lab app i will take you through the interface and i will show you even some things you probably never knew about the app that is if you have been using before and i will show you what you need to know if you have not been using the app before now all right now stick around and stay with me the first thing is to start from the app itself now you see this is how the app looks right this is pixel app app you can get it from play store but currently at the time of recording this video which is um night september at the time of recording this video the app is not available on app store that is it can't be used on iphone you can't get it from app store right so you can only use it on android for now i'm so sorry if you are using an iphone okay but then um if you use an um, android then stick around because you need this video this app can change your life and i'm not even trying to exaggerate i'm just trying to state the fact okay so this is a design app this is a design software this is a design um application that you can use on your smartphone i create mind-blowing designs with this app as small as you probably think it is so i've been using this app for a couple of years now and it's a very very powerful tool that has completely um not completely but has gone a long way in actually changing my life and in my growth so stick around and um ensure that you pay attention okay now the first thing is to talk about this just like i just um clicked on it this is my project right you can see this is called my project so um yeah this is where you can see all your previously saved projects so i've i've got a couple of projects here and um that i've worked on this um a couple of flyers social media designs and all of that that i've worked on before even as far back as a year right so i've got a lot of projects in here and um i can decide to save in between as i'm working on project look at this beautiful design so i can decide to save in between um working on a project and all of that so but then um this that is what this particular um feature or tool is about this is to check your previous project and also from here you can see something here which is dot plp now this is if um this is for you if you want to import a plp file into your phone now what is into your pixel lab now what is a plp file a plp file is the extension that is the template the editable template of a um project and do it on pixel app so for example now let's say i want to let's say i'm working on a project let's assume i'm working on this project and for whatever reason i can't finish it but i want one of my students because i have a couple of students um but then or maybe i want a friend to help me to finish this project up i can decide to share this plp file right the peer, this file itself i can decide to share the file without my friend or without my students and the students will be able to edit each and every of the elements in this design i'll be able to um work on and finish up the design or maybe even work on the design again from scratch so that is what it means that is what i mean by um plp file all right so um yeah so the next thing that i would like to talk about is this right um dot plp file i have a video on the channel where i talked about this in detail how you can actually import um plp files into your pixel lab and all of that just check my channel you are going to see the link to a video on that or check the description box below for quick and faster um, access to the video now this particular one is to sort your projects right is to sort your projects in order of date descending date ascending name descending and name ascending trust me a lot of pixel lab users don't even know about this in fact somehow i'm shocked i'm particularly i'm shocked about this because i've not been using it yeah and I've, i i didn't really pay attention to it but then now i know that this is for date descending so let's check um date ascending so click on ok and let's see can you see wow this is the oldest project here i work on this project last year actually 
um yeah that's the previous year before this depending on whenever you are watching this video i work on this project in 2022 right so there are a lot of projects look at many of my old projects look at many of them in fact many of them i couldn't finish a couple of them i just work on them to some point and i left them so these are my old projects so and how is this possible it's simply because i decided to um arrange my projects in date descending um date ascending rather so you can decide to do name descending name ascending it depends on your choice but then i would rather leave it at date descending okay so that i can see my recent projects and um yeah work on them so the next thing is date so uh, this particular one is if you want this particular box to close right if you want to go back to the project you are working on if you want to go back to your work workspace and in fact that is what i want us to do right now so click on this right so we are back to our workspace now that is that about this this one um is for template right on pixel app there are template that you will um that already pre-installed on the app so look at that is what all of this is about but then this is the one i use the most i just scroll to the last one and i work from scratch i actually prefer working from scratch i don't think i've ever used any of these templates before so i work i create my designs from scratch because those templates are not even um good like i mean they are not amazing right uh, they are the, the designs they are actually bad i can't even call them designs right but then that's by the way so this is the um this one there's no um element here that is nothing here that is nothing at all now the next i want us to talk about is this but then before this once you click on this you will see this text and quotes text and quotes now this one look at text plus that is if you want to add text what this plus means is that you're just talking about adding that is addition so if i click on this now you can see that look at it a new element is going to be added and one thing you will probably notice about this is that that will unlock or uh, rather than use the word unlock i think that will make a lot more elements visible if i delete this now you, you will not see any of this again let me just delete it and show you that delete and delete can you see everything is gone but then once you click on text that shows that these um particular features are only available for text that is you can only use them on text right now this first one is for style i have another specific video on this like i have a specific video on this um styles that is um the video i think the video that is how to add text effect or how to install text effect template just check the description box below to or check my um channel that is if you are watching this on my youtube right if you are watching this video on my youtube then just check the description box below or check my channel in this key designs for the video so this particular one is to look at you can browse look at these are different styles so um, these are default to so these are templates i didn't create any of these but i can decide to add another text effect right um, on pixel lab is called text style so i can decide to add my own i have a lot of videos on text effect guys just check the description box below if you are watching this on my youtube or check my channel i have a playlist on that just go to another playlist you see a specific playlist on just text effect i have a lot of them all right so that is that about these styles now this one is to edit your text right you can edit your text here and you can add more text you can clear your text you can work in cap locks um in block letters you can decide to uh, let's assume that i'm creating my text in um small letters can you see small letters i can decide to make everything capital like make everything capital by clicking on this look at it i can decide to also make everything become small letter by clicking on it again right you can see it so that is what this particular one is for so this one is to delete my text i can decide to delete look at it maybe i've typed a, a long text and i don't like it like I, maybe i change my mind and i don't want to start clicking on back to that that is going to take my time you can decide to just click on delete and it's going to clear all your text so i can decide to click on cancel maybe if i change my mind or click on ok after typing a couple of text that i really like so i can decide to just leave it and click on ok and then this is it now instead of clicking on edit i think a shortcut is to double tap can you see it so um if you are not using a mouse like me or yeah let's say you are just touching your screen i mean with your finger it's still the same thing just double tap it and then um, you can be so sure that is going to bring you here all right so um sorry 
all right so then we can click on ok and that is that about that now the next thing is um copy is delete rather you can decide to delete your text you can decide to copy it you can decide to bring it bring it to front um this particular tool comes in very handy when you are dealing with a lot of elements right sorry let's say you have some like text um two text on each other for example or instead of that i think i should just use a shape right we are still going to come to shape um quickly so let me use this for example let me bring this here so my text is no longer visible but then i want my text to bring um to come to the front of this i want it i want to bring it to the front of this all i have to do is just to tap on this right i think i'm, I'm still going to come to that all right i can decide to tap on this um yeah i can decide to tap on this and then i will lock it now i can decide to us then i can now click on my text i can decide to click on my text here all right it's not actually click okay yeah it's clickable so i can decide to click on my text then if i click to front look at it can you now see that my text is now at the front right let me change the color all right this is for color so i'm not going to touch on that again since i've mentioned that um yeah i mentioned that already so this is for color so i can decide to send it to back to depending on my choice so just click on to back to front to back so that is what this particular feature is about so let me bring it to front so that you can see what i'm talking about so um this one is for positioning right you can decide to position this is for um this is called nudge i think this is called nudge also nudging more like you can decide to move it a bit and you can decide to also do this um manually by just moving this from here right and dragging it to wherever you want it to be but then you can decide to also do that for if for, for whatever reason you can't drag it with your and especially if you are working with tiny text right now this particular one is to just um bring it to a point let's say for example now this is here for example and i want to bring this to the center right i want to align this to the center of my workspace i will just click on this then look at it can you see i'll just tap on this aligned but unless i want to bring it to this point i just click here right click here click down position to the center can you see can you see it depends on your choice so that is what this one is for relative position how to position it relatively so then the next one is now your size so you can decide to also increase your size here can you see you can decide to increase it um with your finger you can decide to increase it um, manually from here or you can decide to just come here and increase the size from here right look at it you can decide to increase the size from here so that is what in fact you can also from the size also you can decide to increase it um yeah a, a bit by bit bit by bit one after the other it just depends on what you want basically so now this is paddling right now there are times where you are working you are working on a text and you realize that a part of the text appeared to cut away especially those one on the edges so what you can do now is that you can either increase can you see it you can now increase the paddling that is talking about the spaces between the text and the edge but look at so you can set to increase it or reduce it so sometimes for example let's say you explain something and your text is showing like this where your first text is not showing completely you can decide to come here and um, the same thing here so you can apply to the right paddling here so you can decide to undo it you can decide to also increase it gradually mark it and then color i have shown about color this is to change your color this is color this is gradient so it depends on what you want and then you can also select a part that you just want to you want the color to apply to so let's say you don't want the color to apply to all your text or all the words in your text or all the letters in your words or all the letters in your text you can decide to just come here and then do gradient does not apply to single text right if you want to use um, gradients you have to use it on all the text but then colors do apply so you can see it now um yeah you can see it i can decide to apply just white to this and then we've got this so can't see it because that is not what i want i'm just doing that to show you how that can be used now this is texture all right this is texture now if you click on texture from here you can import an image or a background or whatever you've downloaded you can decide to import it as texture i use this a lot i use this a lot especially in background manipulation um but that is if you want to manipulate backgrounds on my designs i have about two tutorials yeah 
at the point of watching um of creating these videos now i have about two to two to three tutorials i think about two on my channel on background manipulation so i can decide to um let's say i want to import this little baby let me just um tap on it look at it now mark it and then you can see she has been um the baby has been installed as texture or imported as texture i can decide to look at it scroll down i can decide to delete or to change the image if i want i can decide to increase the scale right maybe it looks too small so i can decide to increase the scale depending on what i want if i want to change the ratio of the baby i can decide to click on maintain ratio what this will do is that it's going to adjust the ratio um according to the text right it's going to adjust the ratio of the texture that is the image just imported as the texture according to the text so that is what this particular feature is about so mark it and then the next thing i would like to talk about now is opacity so this is let me delete the texture please now let me mention something when you enable texture you can't enable color at the same time right you can't enable color at the same time can you see you can't enable color at the same time so that is one thing you need to no so let me just um delete my texture because no that is not what i want so i just delete it mark it all right now the next thing is opacity you can decide to reduce your opacity increase this and then let's assume you use shadow um on your text for example or on your shape depending on what you are using that for so you can also enable that the opacity should affect the shadow what this means that as you are reducing the opacity of your text for example let's say you enable a shadow on the text the opacity of the shadow will also be reducing right if you don't want that let's say you want the shadow to remain you can always disable this yeah so mark this now the next thing is rotate so you can rotate from here too can you see you can rotate your text yeah this is just normal rotation eventually you realize that there's something called 3d too you can rotate your text in 3d but then this is normal rotation then mark it and then um to save your time or depending on your choice you can also rotate from here right instead of coming to rotate from here you can just rotate directly from here can you see it just touch this can you see look at this look at this this particular um icon that looks like a curved um yeah a curve rather so you can decide to move it and then rotate it however you want it to be so it depends on your choice and then let me just return it back to its original state so yeah mark it now the next thing is max come on i use this a lot right this max and um yeah mainly to create text effect actually but then it also applies to um shapes now many of the things i mentioned here i mean under this text category also applies to shapes so i may not repeat them so that this video don't get too long yeah i'm sorry but then it's basically the same thing for example mask colors all of that they are the same thing so i'm not going to touch on that when i get to shape so that i'll be able to touch on um what you need to know um yeah so yeah this is mask i have a video on this on the channel so just go watch it so i may not be able to touch in details all um what this is about and what this can do but then just check my channel check um in this designs channel and um just go to playlist and go look for busier 2 series under the busier 2 series i talk about the mask 2 i think i talk about the differences between the max 2 and the busier 2 i spoke about the max today so just go check it and you are going to learn how to use the max 2 so that is just that by the way but that is what this is for to create curves you can adjust it you can do all of that you can create um effects and all of that but then i'm going to disable that so mark it and that is that about that now this font is to change your font style so you can decide to come here under my font style these are this all these font style are pre-installed on the app but then i have some custom font that i actually installed by myself um yeah maybe maybe i'm just um online for example maybe i actually come across a design i love and i love the font and then i actually want to install the font and use the font so it's quite easy I have a video on that that is how to install fonts yeah two different ways to install fonts into your pixel lab app even if you haven't problem with that before that um, video is going to solve your problem so yeah that is what this is about yeah 
it touch um it actually touched on all of this in details so let's cancel that and let's continue right so the next thing is um yeah the next thing is font okay yeah i've touched on that the next thing is style so from here you can bolden this right if you want to bolden it um you can put this in italics you can underline it it actually depends on what you want now if you also want to select a part of this that you let me this is to clear all of the edits or to clear maybe one edit for example i don't want this to be bold so let me just clear this so that is what this is for look at cancel now if you want this to only apply to a word or to a letter it also applies here can start to underline just look at this four set of letters can start to make them italics too and it's going to affect just this four set of letters or put this and also bolden it so that it's not going to affect all of the other ones that are not selected from here let me cancel of this then mark it up right now the next thing is curve right i can start to curve my text right this does not apply to shapes though you can only curve text so you can see this is curve quite amazing and quite an interesting feature so um let's say i want to return this back to its original state so i just um click on this and then mark it quite simple now this background is for just the text so if i want to enable a background for my text right look at this i can also do that from here and um, i can also use gradient let's assume it's gradient i want to use can you see it um come on i can decide to use gradient then i can decide to use a single color can you see it then also i can decide to increase the left part and look at it depend on what you want i can decide to increase this i can decide to also um reduce or increase the right part lane i can decide to even increase the top part lane can you see it bottom brother let me start from bottom look at bottom part lane i can decide to do this i can decide to increase the top part lane can you see it? top part lane then i can decide to make the edges less sharp by increasing the radius can you see it look at this is an interesting feature and a very amazing feature so you can also do that you can increase this right now mark it and that is that about that but then let me clear let me clear that background let me clear that background right now this one is aligned this one is aligned so you can decide to left align your text center aligned or um right aligned so this is going to come and day when you're having um text like this so you can do something like this can you see it center align okay can you see it left align center aligned and right aligned then you can also do justify yeah it depends on what you want so that is what this is for center aligned just like you can see on my screen then center aligned left aligned right aligned, and all of those aligned right so the next thing is spacing right i use this a lot too you can decide to increase the spacing between the letters right or you can also decide to look at back to the original state you can decide to also increase the spacing between the words can you see it yes it depends on what you want so mark this the next one is line spacing so i can decide to break this now into um two lines just for the sake of this video so i um, i can reduce the line spacing i can look at increase it i can reduce it i can increase it i can reduce it i can increase it so that is what this is about i also use this very well so let me just return it back to the original state the market now the next thing is stroke you can stroke your text depending on your choice you can actually add stroke to your text you can add stroke to your um shapes too right so yeah that is what this is about so come to this now you can also add shadow i spoke about shadows earlier so you can also add shadow here it depends all right you can reduce the opacity of your shadow you can see you can reduce the opacity of your shadow then at the same time you can also increase the blur radius or reduce the blur radius to make the blur radius more sharper so um just yes, of the shadow so you can make the shadow um yeah less sharper and um, more sharper so it depends on what you want in fact you can also enable outer glue can you see it probably because maybe if this glue is not okay for you you want it to glue more yeah you can actually enable the outer glue look at it it's called outer glue you can disable it too then offset x maybe you want the shadow to move to the right or move to the left move down or move up 
so it depends on your choice so this is move to the um, right move to the left then move up move down rather move up so it depends on what you want so i'm going to cancel this because i don't want all of that so i'm going i'm just going to cancel this here then the next thing is inner shadow right the next thing is inner shadow so just click on your inner shadow enable this now this is also an amazing feature i use this very well especially when dealing with my text effect if you want to know how that works very well you can watch my text effect tutorials so here too you can increase the blur radius can you see it you can also reduce the blur radius you can move this to the left can you see then you can also move this to um sorry to the right then you can also move this to the left you can move this up and you can move this down so this is going to come in very very handy especially when you are dealing with text effect let's say you want to create an effect on your text yeah depending on what you want so this can come in very very handy so i'm going to cancel this because i don't want that either so um what is the next thing here the next thing here is emboss unfortunately this does not work if you this will not work on your phone very well that doesn't mean it doesn't work but it won't work effectively on your phone if your phone is android 10 and above i think android 9 and above yeah i think android 9 and, and above so you are going to have difficulty in using this so let me just show you the difficulty you will have can you see so this is this is actually an amazing feature but it's sad because you can't use it very well right you can't use this on your phone so look at this can you see it breaking and in fact sometimes okay look at this now for example where it looked like it's normal right look at this look normal but then when you export your work let's assume I, I i just work with this i adjust the lighting let's say i edit it to my text look at intensity ambient light spectacular hardness bevel uh, all of that so we are still looking for the solution to that i actually have a tutorial on my channel where the solution to that which are the solution to this problem actually but then the challenge here is um once you are able to do that it's going to reduce the quality of your image so i don't know anytime I, I get a solution to this problem then i'm going to uh, also upload that on my channel i'm going to make that available basically it's going to be available but for now there's no solution to this so let me just disable it but then it's an amazing feature an amazing one okay now this one is perspective you can actually adjust the perspective of your text okay can you see it you can adjust the perspective um the same thing applies to your images this is actually an amazing feature too you can use this on your text you can also use this on shapes you can use this on images and all of that so that is what this is about so let me just undo it let me just disable this and let me just mark this right this one is um rotate i spoke about this earlier that's 3d rotate so you can rotate this x can you see cd is rotating in 3d can you see all right so you can see cd is rotating in 3d can you see it very very amazing so that is what this is about so you can rotate in 3d um yeah it depends on your choice so mark it then the next thing here is your 3d text i use this a lot so this is 3d text and then you can use oblique you can use perspective and um depth you can increase the depth right you can increase the depth of your text right look at it you can increase it now if you don't want to face problem in using this tool then you need to scroll down and turn off this light look at it stimulate lightning you need to disable it if you don't want to encounter issue with using this tool if not this could have also been very very amazing look at look at the lightning very very amazing but unfortunately it will break i mean your text is going to break um yeah the 3d is going to can you see it see what i'm talking about the 3d is breaking i feel like it's the same thing that is affecting the um the emboss that's also affecting this so i'm just going to disable this right now um yeah but then even at that we still i, I particularly still use this a lot so i use this a lot especially in my text effect it comes in very very handy I can decide to darken this i can decide to lighten this so it um depends on what i want actually so my oblique angle i can decide to adjust this angle too yeah i can decide to adjust this angle to my taste i can decide to rotate you can see it i can decide to also rotate from here so it depends on what i want and that is that about the 3d text 
so can't see this the next thing is um 3d shadow so i don't use this actually i don't use this but it's also an amazing feature though but then i just don't use it <laughs> yeah because i like to add my own shadow my own way so i'm going to disable this but then let me just talk about that there's opacity blur radius expand by and all of that you can change the color to color of your shadow yeah so i'm just going to disable this because i don't want because i don't use it so this reflection too i don't use this actually but there's amazing very very amazing too so you can add reflection to your text and um to your shapes it's also available on the shapes so yeah it depends on what you want it depends on what you want to achieve you can also adjust the distance yeah i'm going to disable it i'm going to mark it and that is all for our text that is all for our text now i need to mention something i spoke about text here then look at the next one is quote this same thing is the one here too look at this the same thing with the one here so once you click on this quote or instead if you decide to come from here there are a lot of amazing quotes from here i mean custom quotes that come with the pixel app app you can decide to use either french or english right then you can decide to pick whatever category of quote you want there's motivation there's success there's friendship there's happiness there's inspiration positivity absorbed so it's amazing right very very amazing so you can always get um quote from here if you want to use it i don't use this quite often too but then that is that about this so this is going to be the part one of the um um yeah tour <laughs> yeah tour around pixel lab you can call this pixel lab tour so but then this is just um basically the first part of this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next part